The town of Boston in Lincolnshire is a former trading port which once welcomed merchant vessels from all over Europe. But its relations with the continent have now become notorious for an entirely different reason. Its high concentration of farms and food production businesses has lured migrants from all over Eastern Europe to work in low-skilled jobs, picking vegetables and processing produce in factories. The effect of immigration on Boston has been staggering. The town's foreign-born population has increased by nearly 470% in the decade 2011, a bigger increase than anywhere else in the country. Some local residents have complained that migrants are taking their jobs and reducing access to public services. But those in the Latvian, Lithuanian and Polish communities would often argue in response that they're being paid low wages to do work that British people simply don't want to do. Polish workers who, who come to Britain really want to work from morning till night. And they want to save money, they want to have a better life. Uh, and they come here just for this. Uh, so um, I wouldn't say um, they they come for benefits, for example, here. No, the, this, is, this is a minority of people. Uh, it's really the numbers are negligible. There are also increasing concerns that migrant workers are being exploited by gangmasters and unscrupulous employers. Zidonis Barbax, a representative of Boston's Latvian community, has compiled a report on the labour abuses experienced by his countrymen. These include being paid less than the minimum wage, the use of zero-hours contracts to employ several people for one job, and workers being charged for transport to and from the fields. Mr Barbax is also concerned that instances of exploitation are increasing as more migrants come to the UK. Well, I think the, the 10 years ago when I moved to Boston area it was uh, similar things, but uh, it's never been stopped. So I think it's going to be worse uh, later on because they have another few countries coming uh, over last year, so that's going to be worse. One of the problems with tackling labour abuses in sectors such as agriculture is that migrants are loath to come forward in case they're penalised. Even when abuses are reported, they're expensive and time-consuming to investigate. The Gangmasters Licensing Authority, the body set up to clamp down on labour gangs, has suffered a significant cut in funding under the coalition and now been asked to look for sustainable sources of financing for the future. Well, the problem we have is the Gangmasters Licensing Authority has had its finance cut, which means there are less people on the ground, so there's less people to go out and check up on the Gangmasters. The Gangmasters make profit from encouraging far too many people to come to work in Boston. By having too many people here, they're able to drive down wages, and at the same time, they're profiteering from the rents these people are paying. So it's making life difficult, both for new workers coming from Europe and for local people, because wages are low and rents are too high. However, some believe that migrants should not be coming to Boston in the first place. Robin hunter Clark, who stood as the UK Independence Party's candidate in Boston and Skegness, is adamant that Britain needs tougher, broader controls. Well, the effect of low-skilled migration on Boston has been devastating to the local economy. You know, it's put huge pressure on local jobs, it's put huge pressure on local services. People, uh, local people can't get a job anymore. Uh, there's lots of people wanting to get work on the land that can't uh, get that work anymore. And there's lots of people uh, that can't get doctor's appointments, for example, because there's so many people descending on one small, as it was, local market town, and it just cannot cope. But he still seems unsure about what action his party would take to regulate rogue employers. UKIP would tackle the exploitation of low-skilled labour by introducing, I presume, legislation on the matter. I mean, we already have uh, employment law, and employment law should not allow that sort of thing to, to be continuing in modern society. So I would expect that we would tackle it directly from being in the House of Commons. Public concerns about low-skilled migrant labour intensified ahead of the UK general election. Questions now remain over how to deal with the community tensions caused by immigration and whether the voices of migrants who are being exploited will be properly heard. Helen Worrell, Financial Times, Boston.